Welcome to another research screencast presented by Mobile Active. Increased competition in the economic market has made it difficult for rural producers and cooperatives to gain an equal hand. Aside from improving market access, a related challenge faced by cooperatives is in the management of their supply chain and monitoring of production. One group is doing this by leveraging the mobile phone camera. In this report by Schwartzman and Parrick, the authors collaborate with the Rural Coffee Cooperative in Guatemala to design and evaluate two camera-based applications. Using CAM applications, users can capture barcodes that are printed on paper forms using cameras that are built into mobile phones. CAM DPS, which stands for Delivery and Processing, can be used to capture information on coffee deliveries and payments. CAM Randy, which stands for Representation and Inspection, can be used to support inspectors in gathering multimedia data based on multiple choice questions. The two applications were tested at a coffee cooperative called Azobagri, located in Barillas, Guatemala. Azobagri monitors the coffee production process from soil care and seeding all the way to its exportation. There are different international certifications and standards that the 800 small coffee producers have to meet. This flowchart details the process of how farmers deliver the coffee and receive appropriate payment during the harvesting season. Each farmer is registered in a paper notebook by a quality control assistant. Then the manager enters its information into an Excel spreadsheet and checks for coffee's weight and humidity. The information is also recorded by hand into the producer's logbook. According to this data, the net price to be paid to the producer is decided. The authors called this process the most inefficient and business-limiting procedure at Azobagri. The delivery and payment process can take up to three hours per farmer. There is repetitive data entry and information is handwritten several times. In the new approach, the barcode of the delivery receipt is captured using the mobile phone camera, which is running CAM DPS. This prompts the user to enter each of the data fields from the receipt and sequence, accompanied by text and audio prompts for each field. The authors envision that once the delivery forms are completed, the Azobagri staff could be prompted to send the data via internet or SMS. At the time of the study, the service side which would collect and process the data had not been developed. From such a database, receipts and labels and records could be printed. The authors measured execution time and error rates for data entry. Users entered data 15 seconds faster in Excel, but the average number of errors was twice as high. The audio prompts were observed to produce more errors opposed to text-only interfaces. Now let's look at some of the limitations of the inspection and monitoring process. The inspections are largely carried out by extension workers. Azopagri employs five part-time staff, each of whom covers a distinct region. Inspectors have to complete a three-page paper form for each producer. In this form, they report on soil quality, coffee tree quality, the use of disinfectants, and crops grown on neighboring parcels. They also visit each producer's processing area. Using this information, the quality control manager will then make a list of producers to sanction or expel from the cooperative. There are several challenges to the existing process. The paper forms are difficult to write on, prone to get wet, dirty, and are heavy to carry around to the field. It is also difficult to provide evidence of the inspection, as in whether the inspector was in fact present. There are also no documented standards for mild and severe breaches, since the questions on the inspection form are open-ended. So the final recommendations are subject to the inspector's bias. Working with the cooperative, the authors developed a laminated inspection guide, which outlines all inspection questions. The guidebook has a barcode which can be captured using a mobile phone camera. This then launches the mobile data collection form. During the inspection, the inspector is prompted to take pictures and use audio features on the phone to record the recommendations to the farmers. This multimedia data is also linked to individual barcodes. The data is stored on a memory card and is manually transferred to a PC at the head office. Each report is displayed on a WordPress blog for the quality control manager to review. The authors created a script which tags each report with key labels. Usually, the process takes 20 to 30 minutes, but with the new technology, there were distractions from locals and both user groups took between 42 to 44 minutes to do the inspections. The users listed benefits of Randy as reducing their carrying load, praised the rugged nature of the laminated guide, and appreciated the ability to link audio and image evidence to their inspection reports. With CAM, the inspection could not be altered after it was entered, which also reduced foul play. The users said it was hard to capture barcodes in the shade and that the menus were hard to navigate. Some suggested that video could be useful to provide evidence of how producers are actually performing the work or for training materials. Some people wanted to enter open-ended information but couldn't write these details. It's clear that the blog does not provide the full functionality of a database. It cannot query on more than one field or produce summary reports, for example, based on the type of breach or parcel location or producer. However, at the time, the quality control manager was able to review inspection reports displayed on the blog sufficiently. 
Using a blog also requires little technical expertise. This report is an example of prototype mobile applications that can be used for supply chain management to monitor production and to improve market accessibility for producers and cooperatives in developing countries. You can find more research in Mobile Active's growing M directory. Thanks for tuning in.